whilst, whilst most seven-year-olds are probably fighting for more screen time, uh, our next guest is doing the exact opposite and has addressed a live TED Talk uh, audience calling for parents to ditch their digital devices, to interact with their children more, to help them develop their full potential. Molly Wright was born in the UK but is now a year two student from Australia who is being hailed as the next Greta Thunberg. Her talk has been viewed more than a million times. Here's Molly in action. Oh, my goodness, it is so powerful. Uh, we're now joined by Molly Wright and her mum, Ali, and dad, Neil, from their home on the Gold Coast. Now, I imagine, Neil and Ali, you feel like you're on the hot spot the whole time now. There'll be people be going, there's the parents, what are they doing? <laughs> we oh, all feel like that. But yeah, we... that's great to feel. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Well, what an amazing thing to have done, um, Molly. Uh, it's so powerful to see that. How did, uh, how did this all come about? Uh, and any of you can answer that. I don't know if Molly wants to do that or Ali. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, um, there was a nationwide call out by the Mandurah team because I didn't write the script. Um, and I got invited to um, do the... The, the Thrive by Five TED Talk at the Sydney Opera House. And oh my gosh, it was amazing. It was one of the best experiences of my life. Seriously. <laughs> I'm just trying to think yeah. what my, my son and my daughter were doing when they were seven. What I was doing when I was seven, I mean, I, just, I was just thinking about myself, not trying to change the world. The Sydney Opera House, <laughs> though, were you nervous, Molly? Well, I was a little bit nervous when it, um, when the audience were there, but I soon warmed into it. Yeah, you certainly did. And just to explain, um, uh, Neil, the the Thrive by Five or Thrive. Five. Uh, four or five is is a sort of campaign, isn't it, in Australia? I think, which is about helping parents uh, and other carers understand that a child's brain is sort of ninety percent the size of an adult's by the time they're sort of five or, or six, and therefore everything that happens in those first few years is incredibly important. Did you know yeah. about all of that, or did you learn something from Molly as well? Mm -hmm. No, no, we we certainly learned from Molly as we've gone along the, the Mindaroo Foundation that Molly did the TED Talk for. Because um, I have a younger brother and obviously my parents have done this with me from a very, very young age indeed. Um, and I have a brother, this is really important. Mm. He is under five, he's just turned three. So we're doing this as much as we can with my brother. That's ready. <laughs> so no, no screens for him. I, just, just, I mean, I've never done a TED Talk. Ramvi, have you done a TED Talk? No. Yeah, so what, what is a TED Talk? Can you just explain? Well, it's where an adult or a child goes on stage and they make a confession about something they've found out that they want everyone to know, which is really important. So, some of the, yeah. so, uh, and Molly, some of the footage we saw, you, you had a, a, a small baby alongside you on there. So it wasn't just you, you were actually dealing with another child, a baby. What, what was that about? Well, they were cute twins, Ari and Ishi, um, and they were swapped around because um, I had to do like the whole speech, um, but then they like edited some of the best parts together. But um, Ari and Ishi were swapped around in their high chairs. They looked identical. Mm. The only thing you to tell apart is their curls, like what mm. hair do, and then and then their their clothes. So they put a matching clothes and they pretended they were each other. They doubled up whenever one needed some food or sleep or crying. They were so cute. Well, <laughs> uh, Ali, just take, I mean, this is incredible, isn't it? She's obviously very, very confident, is Molly, and this has obviously given her even more confidence. What made you think that she was capable of do, taking on such a, a big task, really? Honestly, Ramvia, I, I didn't know. Um, we have known that she is very articulate for her age and that she likes to perform. Um, she expressed an interest in performing last year and, you know, we've, we supported that um, because, it, you know, I like being creative myself and um, so it was a nice thing to share together. Um, and then when this opportunity came about with my background in education, I taught in Manchester. Hi, Manchester. Hi, Atherton. Uh, Hi. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, but yeah, it was, it, it just seemed really uncanny how it fit 
That's together right. with our lives and so it was nice to team up with the Mindrew uh, Foundation and, and put this together um, obviously we're supporting Molly from uh, as, as parents um, but it's it's lovely to see that she's thriving in this this arena and managing to get a good message out there at the same time. What, what is the impact so far of that TED talk? I mean it's obviously you know you don't often hear children Adults talk about children uh, and what we think, but actually, you know, to have a child give that message is, is very powerful. What impact has it already had, do you think, um, Ali? Thank you. Um, I think it's, well, we've had some lovely messages personally from friends who have said that they've put down their devices and spent time with their children, regardless of the age of their child. And also we've had some amazing feedback from hospitals where it's been played to new parents. And so we've been reading these messages to Molly, because obviously, you know, she's a seven year old um, and there's questions to does she does she know what all of this is about? Does she know the repercussions of this? Um, and we have a lovely conversation with Molly as regularly as we can about you know what this means and and the the messages that we're receiving from around the world. And it's um, do you know what it's been wonderful. It's been really lovely. And, and I think it's, it's yeah. It's... Saw you thanking Manchester there. We we claim you as our own. You may be living in Australia, but you're you're British yeah, to us. Actually, I've got to say. Yes, I was there, so we can be clear. <laughs> My son is going to be unhappy. He's 18, and I'm going to go home after the programme and tell him to do a TED talk. Because he seriously, he, he's miles oh, behind you, Molly. Can't but put pressure on people. This isn't like to, you know, it's it's not that. It's um, you know, I think sometimes parents feel judged as it is, and it's not about that. It's just about. Um, what scientists have said that these simple games can do well, for a, a baby's brain. Yeah, well, it's fascinating. And as we say, you know, Greta Thunberg has put climate change on the map for us all. And, I, you know, and people are saying that this TED Talk, it might do the same for, for parenting of under five. So, um, yeah, congratulations to all of you. Uh, and Molly, we wait to see you in your next Hollywood role. I imagine you'll be <laughs> doing something incredible quite soon. I'm glad we got to interview you before you become too famous for us. Uh, uh, lovely to see you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>